Hello my dear friends. Today I am going to discuss uh, worksheet 2 from class 6 chapter light. A ray of light uh, falling on a mirror is what? First of all let us look at the mirror. For the mirror this is our normal, this is our incident ray and this is our reflected ray. So on a mirror the light falling on a mirror, the light, uh, say this is light uh, which is falling on this mirror is called as incident ray. Next one, the angle between the incident and the normal is, see this is our normal, this is our incident ray and this is our reflected ray. So this is the angle between normal and uh, incidence uh, and this is called as angle of uh, incidence. Of course, this is the angle between normal and reflected ray and this is called as angle of uh, reflection. Angle of reflection. So in this question, the angle formed by between the incident and normal is called as angle of incidence. Next look at the third question. A perpendicular drawn at a point of incidence on the surface of a mirror is called. See this is our mirror and this is the surface. The perpendicular drawn, see this is our perpendicular drawn at the point of incidence of the surface of the mirror is called. So this is obviously called as a normal as we know that already it's a normal. When a ray of light strikes a plane mirror along the normal, the angle of incidence is, yeah, good question. When a light ray strikes a plane mirror along the normal, see. For example, this is our light ray which is uh, falling along the normal, along the normal. Now, the normal is perpendicular to the surface and the light ray also perpendicular to the surface. So, the angle of incidence uh, along with the normal is equal to 0 degree because both are parallel to each other. So, both are lying in the same straight line. That's why the angle of incidence in this case is zero. The incident ray and the reflected ray from a mirror are mutually perpendicular to each other. The angle of incidence is. He is saying that the incident ray means this is. And the reflected ray. This is. Are mutually perpendicular to each other. Means uh, the, here the angle is 90 degrees. Means uh, the angle of incidence plus angle of reflection is equal to 90 degrees he is saying. Now the question is the angle of incidence is angle of incidence angle i equal to how much as you know that angle i is equal to angle r so instead of this angle r i can write angle i in place of angle r i can write angle i so it becomes angle i plus angle i is equal to 90 degrees which leads to two times of angle i equal to 90 degrees that implies angle of incidence i is equal to 90 by 2 that is equal to 45 degrees. So the angle of incidence in this case is 45 degrees. Is it clear? The angle between the incident ray and the reflector ray is 90 degrees. Means angle I and angle R equal to 90 degrees. What is the angle of incidence? As we know that angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. Angle I plus angle I instead of angle R I wrote angle I only. So 2 times angle I is equal to 90 degrees. So angle of incidence equal to 45 degrees. Is it clear? The angle between the incident and the reflected ray is. The angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray is. Again, let us look at the same diagram. The angle between incident ray and the reflected ray equal to how much? So this is means uh, he is asking us to find the sum of angle of incidence plus angle of reflection is equal to how much? Let us uh, look at the options one by one. Equal to the angle of incidence? No. It is more than angle of incidence. Equal to the angle of reflection? No. Something is added to angle of reflection. That's why this is also wrong. Double the angle of incidence? Yeah. Angle of incidence plus instead of angle of reflection, I can write uh, angle of incidence. Uh, so that implies two times angle of incidence means uh, double the angle of incidence. This is the right option. But uh, for timing, let us look at the fourth option also has no relation with the angles of incidence and reflection. No, this is wrong. There is a relation. Even we can write this as a two times of angle of reflection also. That's also correct option. So here the option is a three. Now let us look at the eighth question. 
area of light is incident normally on a plane mirror the angle of reflection will be see this is our plane mirror as you know this is a normal if a light ray incident normally on the plane mirror means like this so if a light ray falls like this along the normal means the angle of incidence equal to how much 0 degrees the reflected ray moves like this only if the angle of incidence is like this the reflected ray moves like this means the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection both will move along the normal only that's why the angle of reflection will be 0 degrees as you know that angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection always so angle of incidence is 0 means angle of reflection also will be 0 when a light is reflected from a mirror when a light is reflected from a mirror its phase changes its frequency changes its wavelength changes its intensity changes so a bit beyond our uh, current knowledge because to understand this you need to know about uh, waves actually in our uh, sixth class standard we didn't introduce the waves uh, so to give you a glimpses a brief idea that uh, light is a also a form of a wave we have introduced this question so light has some um, characteristics like uh, light will be having a phase because it's a wave frequency wavelength intensity so when uh, light is reflected from a mirror just try to remember this question only at this moment it's not possible to explain it's a phase uh, changes it's a frequency remains uh, constant that's why this is wrong option its wavelength also doesn't change due to reflection that's why it's also wrong option its intensity changes its intensity means it's it's related to brightness so when the light is falling here and when it is reflected like this its intensity means brightness changes maybe due to the uh, some of the light is absorbed by the surface or due to some other reasons the brightness of this light will be changed that's why the intensity changes so when a light is reflected from a mirror its phase will be changed and its intensity will be changed in the higher classes you will come to know what is a phase and what is a frequency wavelength and all then you can understand so for timing just remember this question see this question 10th one which of the following are examples of irregular reflection irregular reflection is possible when the surface is somewhat uh, zigzag so irregular reflection i hope you are aware of so regular reflection means when the light is falling on a plane surface all these are incident light rays and all these are left ray reflected light light rays these are parallel but when light is falling on irregular surface the reflected rays will be if one is like this one is like this one is like this so these uh, reflected rays are not parallel to each other in such case that is that is called as irregular reflection so where do you find the irregular reflection on wall wall is a rough surface so on the wall you can find irregular reflection wood is also a irregular surface not a smooth surface rough surface so this is irregular reflection and plane mirror as you know the plane mirror it is a smooth surface that's why here it is undergoing only regular reflection ground glass means of which is a rough rough glass not smooth so on that also you can find irregular reflection now let us look at the 11th question the phenomena in which light that strikes a surface and throws back into the same medium is called as of course this is the definition of a reflection if the angle between the mirror and the incident ray is 40 degrees sorry this is not 400 40 degrees the angle of reflection is the angle between the mirror and the incident ray is 40 degrees see this is very interesting this is mirror this is our normal this is our incident ray he is saying that the angle between the mirror and the this is our mirror and the incident ray is 40 degrees this is 40 degrees so as uh, generally why, how do you measure the angle of incidence with the normal or with the mirror yes you are right with the normal that's why as you know that this is 90 degrees if this is 40 what about this this is obviously 50 degrees means the angle of incidence equal to how much 50 degrees now what is the question the angle of reflection is how much so obviously the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that's why there is also 50 degrees right answer given that if the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray is uh, 
100 degrees not 1000 1000 this is degrees if the angle between the incident ray and the reflector ray is uh, 100 degrees the angle of reflection is means he is saying that angle of incidence plus angle of reflection is equal to 100 degrees as you know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection both are same now he is asking us to find the angle of reflection so instead of angle of incidence write angle of reflection so this is angle of reflection plus angle of reflection is equal to 100 two times of angle of reflection is equal to 100 degrees that implies angle of reflection equal to how much 100 by 2 that is equal to 50 degree over now observe the problem number 14 the ratio of angle incident angle and the reflected angle is so as you know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so incident angle by reflected angle equal to how much obviously as they are equal one is to one if the if the angle between the mirror and the incident is 60 degrees these are mirror these are normal these are angle of incident ray if the angle between the mirror and the incident ray is 60 so if this is 60 obviously this is equal to how much as the total is 90 this is obviously 30 degrees means the angle of incidence equal to 30 degrees angle of reflection will be 30 degrees now let us look at the options the angle of incidence is 30 degrees right the angle of reflection is 30 degrees right the angle of reflection is 30 degrees so this is repeated actually here it should be 60 degrees so one two are right answers the angle between the incident ray and reflector ray is 60 degrees means the angle between the incident ray if this is 30 this is also 30 so this incident ray this is reflected ray so this total equal to how much 30 plus 30 is equal to 60 angle of reflection equal to 30 plus 30 which is equal to 60 degrees so the angle between the incident ray and reflected ray is 60 degrees that's also right answer a regular reflection occurs when a beam of light falls on a smooth and a polished surface of course this is correct irregular reflection occurs when a beam of light falls on a rough surface of course this is also correct means two statements are correct see statement one is true yeah that's true no doubt in it and statement two is also true okay that is also correct and the statement true two is the and the statement two is the correct explanation of statement one he is saying no these are two definitions of regular and irregular reflections that's all this is not the explanation now let us look at the second option statement one is true okay statement true is true that's also okay and statement two is not the correct explanation of statement one yeah this is correct but for time being let us look at the third and fourth options also Statement 1 is two, true, but statement 2 is uh, false, he is saying. So, this is wrong. Statement 1 is false. Okay. Statement 2 is true. Okay. This is also wrong. Because two statements are true, but this statement is uh, not the explanation of the statement 1. That's why the option 2 is correct. Next, look at the 17th problem. For a plane mirror, the ratio of incident angle to the reflected angle is 1. Of course, that's correct. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Of course, for a plane mirror, the ratio of angle of incidence and reflected angle is 1. Right answer. So, statement 1 is true. For a plane mirror, angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. Of course, this is also true. And see, this is the actual correct explanation of statement 1. That's why it is, uh, the ratio is 1. Now let us look at the options. Statement 1 is true, fine. Statement 2 is true, fine. And statement 2 is correct explanation of statement 1. Of course, fine. That's why the option is 1. No need to check anything. Now look at the 18th problem. A light ray is incident on a plane mirror making an angle of 30 degrees. Sorry, 30 degrees. The angle of incidence is equal to 30 degrees. With respect to the surface of the mirror. We have discussed this, this kind of problem previously. See, this is the surface of the plane mirror. This is our incident ray. With the surface of the plane mirror, it is making an angle 30 degrees. If the if it is making an angle 30 degrees with the surface, with the normal, what is the angle made by it? the incident ray? So, as this total is 90 degrees, if this is 30, obviously this is 60 degrees. So, the angle of incidence equal to 60 degrees angle of reflection equal to also 60 degrees this is 60 degrees this is 30 degrees but we always measure the angle of incidence or reflection with the normal only
so the angle of incidence is 60 degrees the reflected uh, angle also 60 degrees the angle between the incident ray and reflected ray is so this is total incident ray and the reflected ray is 60 plus 60 is 60 plus 60 is equal to 120 degrees that's all 21 it's a matching regular reflection irregular angle of incidence angle of reflection angle between normal and uh, see this is a uh, mirror this is uh, normal of course you can do this if you don't want you can skip this problem angle between normal and incident ray normal and incident ray is called as what angle of incidence polished surface and polished surface what happens regular reflection occurs rough rough surface irregular reflection occurs angle between normal and reflected ray this is normal and this reflector is called as angle of reflection. That's all. If the angle of incidence is 45 degrees, the angle of reflection is, if the angle of incidence is 45, so as you know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. If this is 45, what about this? This is also 45 degrees. That's all.